Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot here for three on a theme Halloween. Um, this is a tag video, and a tag video is something that exists somewhat in YouTube land, uh, where you make a video, and it has a common thread, and at the end of the video you tag other people to make their own versions of that video. Um, I was tagged by Cardboard Republic, who is a fabulous little blog site that started a YouTube video a little while ago, and it's mostly haul videos right now of seeing what they got over the months and what they'll be reviewing very soon. But the more they do, the more I think they're going to do because YouTube is super addictive. So they made three on a theme, and that means that I need to name uh, three games that fit into the theme they built. So I need to make a game about a spooky story, a haunted house, and trick or treat. So what I will say, um, uh, it was a little bit difficult. I had to really rummage around my house for this, but I figured it out. So for my spooky story, it's a story of murder and intrigue, and that is Mortimer Rosa. Mortimer Rosa is a uh, two to, I think, six player game, which is much better at the six than the two, uh, where you build a physical cube tower. So the tower of uh, the hotel basically and there are two murder victims and you are trying to figure out where the victims were murdered and then accuse your opponents of killing them. Uh, very interesting game because it uses audible clues so you drop the cubes into the tower and you try and predict like where you think you heard them land. So very interesting story. Uh, next up is my haunted house. Uh, for my haunted house I chose guys to splits. Um, there are a few different versions of this game. This is called Ghost Blitz in the States. It's from Zoc. Uh, so there's Ghost Blitz, Ghost Blitz 2, and then Geist Blitz uh, 5 or 12. I, I know this is like 4, four and I don't know the word for 12. Um, but this is the bigger version that's a little more complicated and much, much harder. Um, in this game, uh, players are going to have uh, a lot of figures out on the table. So you have ghosts and clocks and all kinds of neat things. Um, and there are different colors on each of them and one player will reveal a card and it will have certain properties so this card has a green ghost, a black owl, and a blue mirror now in reality of the objects you can see on the table the ghost is white, the owl is red, and the mirror is green so you know you don't want to grab any of those items because none of them directly match and you also don't want to grab any of the items of any of the colors on the card so you're looking for the red thing that's not pictured here so it's not the owl, it's the red perfume bottle but you're doing that all in like three seconds because you reveal this card and the first person to grab the perfume bottle would get the point. With Geist Splits, this version, uh, it's a little more complicated. There's a lot more stuff to it. There's more figures in the game. And there's also other rules you can add in. Like if you see something in the mirror, you grab the something. If the ghost is holding a clock, you say the time rather than grabbing anything. Um, this is a game where we've gotten so intense about it that I've accidentally drawn blood when my nails hit somebody. <laughs> so, really fun, really silly. Um, the theme is something like the ghost is going on a date and getting prepared for it. I'm not sure why you're grabbing his items, but um, the last is my trick or treat. So, the ultimate trick or treat is in a little bit of both. So you don't know if something is a trick or a treat, and that's Sheriff of Nottingham. Yeah, it's not horror themed, but it, it felt like it was similar. Um, so in Sheriff of Nottingham, players are trying to bring goods into the town of Nottingham, and each player will take turns playing the sheriff. You put things in a bag and you hand them to the sheriff, and you can't lie about how many things are in the bag, but you have to to declare that it is one type of good and that the type of good is not illegal. So I say I have four apples in that bag. And now the sheriff goes into this negotiation mode with everyone at the table, uh, whether or not they're going to snap open the bag and look at what's inside. If they snap open the bag and you are telling the truth and everything's perfectly on the up and up, the sheriff owes you money. 
If they snap it from the bag and they find contraband like a crossbow or pepper, illegal spices, um, then the person that was trying to sneak that in owes the sheriff money and doesn't get their counterfeit goods. They get all their illegal goods, but not their counterfeit ones. And the most devious part of Sheriff of Nottingham is in the bags. So this is the bag you hand the goods over in. And what it does is it makes a really satisfying snap noise. It's really hard when someone hands you this bag not to just want to open it. And so as the sheriff, you have to push that down and really focus on the game. And it's really difficult. Uh, so that is my three on a theme. Uh, the folks I will be pinging to do their own three on a theme video will be uh, Jason from Indie Cardboard. I would like to see Hunter from Weapons Grade Tabletop, and I would love to see Kyle Van Winkle from I don't know what his channel is called yet because he hasn't made it yet, but I would like to see him do it anyway. Kyle, make a video. Um, there will be tons more, and if you don't already follow Cardboard Republic, you totally should because that's kind of like the thing that we're all doing. So you should get on that board. Uh, thanks everybody and I will see you next time.